Hey everybody, so we're at British National Downhill Series Round 1 with Mr Charlie Hatton, former wide open mag rider, moved on to ride for Saddleback and Tents and now he's on Trek, Trek Factory Racing. Yeah. Cool, um, how's your day going so far? Yeah, it's going really well to be fair. The track is so fast, I've only done two runs and like hurdy up to race pace, it's, it's nuts to be fair. Yeah, I think we all turned up and thought it was going to be wet and boggy because it's no. been raining all morning but it's quite surprising the track's Yeah, the track good. the track's real hard back as you can see on the ground but yeah it rolls so fast. Um, so let's just talk about your year, you've had a big change to your team this year, you went yeah. from Saddleback where you won the elite overall British title Yeah. and then how did that, what happened to, for you to go on to the Trek team, how did that all come about? Um, well, yeah, as you said, I, the, the overall national series and then a few good results at World Cup and then, yeah, they just approached me. Yeah. And then, yeah, it all worked from there, really. Did you have a few offers on the table or was that the only one you got? Or? Yeah, there's a few offers on the table, but that was... Yeah, that that must have been an easy was, one to go for. Yeah, I was Pretty really happy with the offer, yeah. And um, what have you done over the off-season since signing the deal with Trek? Yeah, it's been a bit different to what I've done before. I've been abroad quite a few times, so, yeah, I went to California. Malaga, uh, where else did I go? Uh, in San Remo. So yeah, it was good to get some good, like, proper long testing tracks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, do you, what do you get up to on a trip like that? Uh, we, we, it was only pretty short. Like, San Remo, we went for two days riding, and we just flat out every day. Yeah. Just riding runs out. Many runs as we can, yeah. And the idea is to set up your suspension. Yeah, just yeah. set up, and as well, just set up, like, prepare your body, really, because the tracks in the UK are really as long as a World Cup track, so like the tracks over there are like four and a half minutes, which is ideal really. And then as you've gone through and got into the pre-season, how have you, what have you done to like really warm up for racing? Um, we're doing some timing just to get back into that race zone really. I did a race at uh, Pierce Kincham, just to uh, yeah, get an idea of a new buy in a race situation really. Cool, and um, see if we can wheel this across a little bit. This is Charlie's race bike that he's riding on, practicing today, yeah. racing tomorrow. Tell us a little bit about it. Um, so yeah, track session 9.9, 27.5. There's a lot of people on 29ers nowadays, but yeah, I'm sticking with a 27. I just feel more comfortable on it, to be fair, and yeah, it feels fast, so yeah, I'm happy with it. And you've got something a little bit unusual with the size of your bike, haven't you? Yeah, so I'm running an extra large frame set, and then it's got a six mil reach reduced headset, so it's slightly smaller. So it's a sort of a... Yeah, it's a bit little bigger, bit than, bigger large. than large. Yeah, but obviously smaller than XL. So, yeah, it's nice that I've got the space to go bigger again. I think on some of the bigger World Cup tracks, I'll be uh, changing the setup for them. Cool. And um, let's talk pretty a little bit about the new team briefly. So you've yeah. you've obviously got new teammates. Yeah. Some pretty big names on the yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. What are those guys like? Yeah, really, really sound to be fair. It's been good training with them. They obviously. I've been doing it for so many years, so yeah. their experience is like, yeah, the best you can get really. So them passing their knowledge on to me is, yeah, is really good. Do you spend a lot of time up there in North Wales with them? Yeah, I've spent a lot of time. We've obviously been away a few times to the team, which has been good, just to get to know them. And yeah, I've been up North Wales riding quite a lot with them, which cool. is really good, yeah. And then, what's the plan for race day? How are you going to approach it? Um, just try and stick to what I did last year, really. I think Ben, Ben's my coach, is coming tomorrow. So yeah, just go through the normal routine and just yeah, ride your bike. <laughs> cool, and then last question, yeah. plan for the rest of the season. What's next and what comes plan after that? Plan for the rest of the season, I think Croatia is in two weeks, so yeah, that's the next race. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And then full World Cups? Full World Cups, yeah. Full British? Try to, but I think there's a few that clash, so yeah, I think World Cups are their priority this year. Any little unusual one-off events? Maybe track work to start, which will cool. be good fun, so yeah. Yeah, Alright, well, thanks everyone. Good luck, Charlie. I have to give you a left hand handshake because I'm holding your bike. But, yeah. <laughs> Cheers.